Good morning. I trust that you're all well this morning. This morning I'm going to share with you from Mark chapter 4, from verse 35 to 41. And on that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go over to the other side. And leaving the multitude, they took him along with them, just as he was, in the boat, and the other boats were with him. And there arose a fierce gale of wind, and the waves were breaking over the boat, so much so that the wind, the boat was already filling up. And he himself was in the stern, sleep on the cushion. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And being aroused, he rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Hush, be still. And the wind died down and it became perfectly calm. And he said to them, Why are you so timid? How is it that you have no faith? And they became very afraid and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now the boat that we're talking about wasn't some big boat that could handle storms. It was a small boat, about eight meters long, about three meters wide, and it could take about 13 people with a catch of fish. And if that catch of fish was a big catch of fish, uh, they could be quite embarrassed, as we saw with Peter when Jesus told them to cast the nets on the other side and they pulled up a catch that started sinking the boat. And the boat was something like this, it's just a small boat like that. And you can imagine with a storm how that would get uh, affected and how fragile they would feel in that. Maybe you're feeling that your boat is fragile today. But just remember, the Son of God wasn't proud to enter your boat. He humbled himself and he became like us and he entered our boat. He entered our frailty. He entered our life. Hebrews tells us that he sympathizes, he understands our weaknesses. And so, um, in, in the fact that he understands our weaknesses, he yet retains the sovereignty and the power to do something about it. And he didn't exercise that sovereignty, he didn't exercise that power from afar off, he didn't exercise it from heaven, he didn't exercise it from the shore, he exercised it from inside the boat. And that's the secret, that Jesus is inside our boat. Uh, he stole the storm from here, inside the boat. You may be feeling a bit overwhelmed with the situation as it is in the country and in the world at present. Just look around. He's beside you. He's in your boat. He's there with you to calm your storms. We're told that he is Emmanuel, God with us. So reach out to him. Allow him to still your storms. Allow your heart to see that he's here inside your boat, inside your frailties, and that he can give you the confidence and the strength to get to the shore. God bless you.